Welcome back, my subhuman viewers. I see you're all back, and, uh, you know, I think you must be asking yourself, uh, you must be saying to yourself, uh, Hey, easy, um, this channel is called So Bad It's Good, so why are you only talking about music videos? Is this the So Bad It's Good music video channel? Do something else. So, first of all, of course, um, fuck you, I'll do whatever I want, but, uh, no. This is a channel for everything that is so bad it's good. I'm not limited to any sort of media. In fact, I'm going to stretch the definition of media like a skinny white guy's asshole in a prison somewhere in Louisiana. So today we're gonna we're gonna do a little we're gonna have a little change of pace, okay? We're gonna talk about something other than music videos. So let me ask you, um, you guys like political cartoons? I don't. If you if you said yes, so just just turn this off right now because I hate you and I hope you die. Political cartoons are 99.99999. Shit. Okay? They're all garbage. There are only basically two types of uh, political cartoons. The first one is uh straw man comic where basically there's one good guy who is whatever the uh, the creator of the cartoon agrees with and then there's the stupid borderline retarded guy who opposes him and essentially he the uh, stupid guy quote unquote stupid says something and then the smart guy corrects him and shows the hypocrisy in what he's saying or he's immediately proven wrong by a different event or he simply starts yelling like a crazy person and of course the person who makes the comic doesn't understand if you flip it around the hypocrite is him let me, let me give you an example, okay? Let's say uh, you're a conservative and you want to make a political comic. So, in the comic, the stupid liberal goes and says something like, Hey, you stupid conservatives, um, why do you like guns so much? I mean, guns kill people. And then the smart, beautiful conservative replies with, Well, if you care about lives so much, why don't you save all the fetuses you kill when you abort them? And the... Uh, the liberal gets flustered and that's the punchline. And then the, the flip side of that, if you didn't like that, is let's imagine you're a liberal and you want to make a comic, so the conservative goes up to the liberal and goes in his stupid nasally voice, much like mine, Hey, you stupid liberal, uh, why do you kill so many people with, uh, with abortions? And then the, uh, of course, the smart, intelligent liberal explains to the stupid redneck hick that, uh, hey, if you care about aborted fetuses so much, why don't you kill, care about all the people who die from gun violence? And then of course the response is angry yelling or getting flustered. It's shit. It's all shit. Okay, all of these comics are shit. But I said that there are two types of comics and the other type of comic is the uh, I have a price labeler and I'll just put the names of everything on everything and my only type of comedy is poorly worded metaphors. Okay, let's imagine you want to commentate on something, but you can't really put it into words that are more intelligent than uh, mm, Obama's foreign policy is like the dick in the ass that is America. Okay, that's that's as far as you go. That's as smart as you can be. So is that is that clever? Is that witty? No, of course not. You're an idiot. But what if you turn into a cartoon? Let, let, let me give you an example of a... Of a let's, let's make... A political cartoon right now, okay? Let's do it together. So, okay, mm, yeah, okay, a plane. W what does this plane represent? Th there we go, that's good, and bam, you got a political cartoon. See, perfect, right? Perfect satire. D don't like that? You're more of a, are you more of a Trump supporter? You're more of a, you're, you're more of a Hillary supporter, you're with her? Okay, let's, let's, uh, do one about conservatives, okay? Okay, so let's put this here and bam, there you go. Perfect. Satire, right? So what's the topic of today's video? A man who transcends all of this, okay? A man whose cartoons go beyond, beyond anything anyone's ever done before and just show you perfect, unmistakable truth. That man is David Dees, okay? This man, who looks sort of like uh, a hipster Clint Eastwood, who I discovered years ago by mistake in a something awful thread, and then lost him because everything is behind a paywall at that shithole, and 
I mistakenly remembered his name as Z and could never find his fucking cartoons again. The cartoon I found that time was uh, of a 20-foot Vladimir Putin punching out jet planes with Obama in them out of the sky using his boxing gloves. So, I mean, perfect, right? That that sounds great. Y y y you you want a visual? You want a visual of this? Okay. Uh, let let me let me show you a perfect example of what you're getting into. Bam. Communist President Obama ripping out the Constitution with his bare hands while he steals everyone's guns. Right? Perfect, right? So this guy's political view is basically every conspiracy theory in the world is true. All of them. Vaccines cause autism. Uh, vegetables? Vegetables that are made of, uh, that are genetically modified, uh, those turn into monsters. Okay, literal monsters. Everything is controlled by the Jews, the Illuminati, the, uh, the Freemasons, and the Jews again. The Jews several times. It's always the Jews. Ba the moon landing didn't happen. Did it, it's all fake, okay? Just, just, per just the truth. Pure truth, okay? But you, let, let me just show you some more. That's what we're here for, okay? Let me show you some more, uh, some great pictures. I mean, not all of them are crazy. Some of them are pretty accurate, even. Like, like, like this one. This one is, I, I guess, sort of accurate, I suppose. I, I kind of. Okay, this one is, you, you don't get any point, points for that, D. That's, that's just a photo of Florida. You, you can't just photograph Florida and put a, uh, a logo on top. That's, that's not made in cartoon, okay? That's just literally Florida. Uh, oh, this one, this one is from 2012 and pretty accurate, but then he went a step further and in the next election, he, he almost predicted it, okay? Just look at this, right? Close, right? Let's let's just, let's just fix this one a bit. There we go. That that's perfect. That is just. I mean, if that scenario had happened, it would it would still be true. But this is what's actually happened, and perfection. Okay. So these are the tame ones. Let me show you the good stuff. Okay. Let me show you the great stuff. Let's just because most of it is complete what the fuckery. So. Right, right off the bat, um, what's going on here? I guess lead lighting is hurting this family, but I'm really, I'm really curious as to why their entire wall is covered with pictures of skulls. Okay, that's pretty tame. Uh, let, let's move on to. Okay, Obama is uh, literally trying to revive the dead body of a very disgruntled-looking Karl Marx. Like, look at the anger in his face. Um, he he is not happy about this. I mean, he's not even finished decomposing. He's just He's just pissed off at Obama, like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, next picture. Um, so, so these guys are electrocuting a black woman reading a book. And the signs on their shirt says Z, uh, so I guess they're the zucchini police. Now for the most conservative cartoon ever. That's right, Moses at a gun store. And I don't think that uh, Dave Z... David Z, sorry, knows the difference between an amendment and a commandment. Okay, you are an illiterate fuck, Dave. Let's move on. Uh, here we have a bunch of Renaissance reenactors fighting a robotic Hasidic Jew. I, I mean, that happens in every Renaissance fair. You can't have a fucking Renaissance fair without the fucking robot Hasidic Jews just barging in and, and disturbing everyone off. I mean, that is something, I mean, his cartoons are so accurate, okay? Next, re remember when I when I talked about GMOs? Um, here's, here's his view about GMOs, and and here's another one, and this is, a, this is an episode of Goosebumps, right? I mean, I, no, I, I even googled it, look, look, look at the potato. It's, it's the same potato. This is an episode of Goosebumps, okay? But, I mean, not, not all of his cartoons are uh, speculations and, uh, and him looking forward into the, into the future. Some of them depict real events, like... Do you remember when uh, Nazi Jew Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, sprayed a field of disabled children with uh, white phosphorus? David D. remembers. So look, look how happy he is uh, just spraying those uh, retarded disabled children with uh, acid. 
I mean, look, he's, he's giving you the thumbs up. He's so happy about it. And I mean, it's Arnold. He's no girly man. He, he can just stand there right in the, right in the kill zone. White Phosphorus has no effect on him, okay? White Phosphorus only affects disabled children. Okay, uh, here's another real event that happened. Uh, this is the time where that, that, uh, that man tried to, uh, do an ill-conceived memorial, uh, sort of presentation for 9-11. Remember when that guy tried to, uh, barge into the White House on 9-11, uh, Remembrance Day dressed as a tower? I mean, that was, that was very poorly thought out. I think he thought people would be happy, but I, he completely misunderstood the situation, okay? It was just awkward and they had to arrest him. Th that's the thing that really happened. This isn't even a cartoon, this is a photo, okay? And, of course, there are ones that are just completely... I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. Um, like this lady, who is Palestine, I guess. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. She, her back has a box that... It says Palestine, but she's standing there holding a sign that says aluminum, trying to hitchhike to a city made of aluminum with planes, dropping sparkles of the word aluminum, just, just a thin beautiful cloud of uh, aluminum over the aluminum city. But I mean, she's, seemingly she doesn't really like aluminum, I mean, she, she does have that anti-aluminum mask on her face. L lady, if you, if you don't like aluminum, then uh, why are you going to aluminum? Why are you going to the aluminum city made of aluminum with a fine coat of aluminum dusted over it? Maybe you should go somewhere else. You, you, you won't have a good time at aluminum, okay? Uh, and you know, David D also does, uh, I mean, his job is making book covers. He makes great book covers and you can see uh, a hint of that in him making the worst ever birthday card. Look at this. Uh, Happy birthday, Israel. I mean, first of all, you, you misspelled the guy's name. There's no way this man's name is uh, Isra Hell, and the hell is in all caps. No one's name is like that. Maybe maybe his name is Isra Hell, but you, you need to make a space there. And this this card really doesn't say happy birthday. A gun pointing, a man pointing a gun at you, uh, a house being demolished. That's That doesn't say happy birthday at all. That's a pretty sad fucking birthday, okay? Okay, so we've established he doesn't really like the Jews. I, that's fair. I, I'm a Jew and I don't like him. Did I say Jew? Shh, shh, don't, don't tell his fans, okay? But who does he blame for, uh, for ISIS? Okay, let's, let's find out. I, I blocked out a bit of this cartoon, okay? So there, you see uh, several individuals here. You see, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu, uh, obviously with, I mean, you, you know he's a Jew because he has that infamous Jew tattoo on his forehead. I mean, I don't know why he got that. He's It was a mistake, clearly. It, it really doesn't do him any favors in negotiations. It's, it's horrible. Shouldn't have gotten that tattoo at all. Okay, so person number two who's in charge of ISIS is uh, the Rothschilds, of course. I'm also Jews. I mean, that's fair, right? If, if Benjamin Netanyahu and the... Uh, and the Rothschilds controlled the Mossad. They probably created ISIS. That's that's a fair speculation. But who is mystery person? Who's individual number three? I mean, you must be wondering. I, I blocked them out. So let, let's play a game. Let's guess who it is. I'll give you I'll give you a multiple choice answer. Okay, number one, Adam Sandler. Is it Adam Sandler? Maybe it is. Who knows? Okay, um, Alan Greenspan. Maybe it's Alan Greenspan. Okay, that's B, Alan Greenspan. C, the Hollywood media. Okay, just generally the Hollywood me media. Maybe they, uh, maybe they did it. And D, let's let's throw in a wild card. Uh, Bob Hoskins. Okay, it's Bob Hoskins. He said, "No, if you voted any of these, you're wrong. It's E, none of the above. It's uh, it's Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth, the fucking kike." I mean, we all know that the, the Queen of England is a fucking kike Jew. Every, everyone knows that. He's exposed the secret, and now everyone knows. Okay, we spent too much time on this one. Let's move on to the next cartoon of uh, George Washington looking on disapprovingly as all the White House staff laughs in complete defiance of his strict, strict no letting the White House being overrun by, stop, by a farm animals policy. I mean, he was very clear about that. He wrote that in the Constitution. Don't let the White House get filled with uh, cattle, with sheep, with cows. 
just don't do it. And they're just laughing in his face, and you can see he's angry about it. He's not happy. Uh, next cartoon. L let's move on. Let's move on. Okay, so the amount of Photoshop used here is unbelievable, okay? All of his cartoons are not drawn. He just steals pictures from Google Images and just just fucks around with them, okay? God knows what he's trying to do here, but that is, this is beyond animal abuse. This is beyond child abuse. This Photoshop abuse is a fucking war crime. And you can really see it here where, uh, where immigrants where illegal dangerous immigrants are apparently from Morocco, one of them is, and the rest are a picture of a train from India. ISIS is fucking Hindus, not Muslims, Hindus. That's... fuck it, let's move on. Um, okay, this one just looks like a poster for a really shitty horror B-movie. Attack of the Killer Palm Trees. No one is safe. Not even this uh, baby that's always used in... Uh, Angry comment wars. Okay, hey, hey, more real events that happen. More real events that happen. Remember the time where the government invented the meme ray? See, see? That's an actual photo we took of the government's meme truck shooting people with the meme ray that turns them into old, outdated memes. That is just a death sentence, okay? This, this is a real thing that happened. So, you know, at this point I thought, maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Maybe I need to go back. Maybe his earlier cartoons made more sense. Maybe this is a progression of a story. Maybe if I look at all of them one by one, I'll understand exactly what's going on. So let's look at the first cartoon on his website. Okay. Um, w what? What? Okay, Sarah Palin is an angel. Uh, McCain is a crippled veteran. And Obama is black, but his arm is white. Obama is black. But his arm is a different race. Uh, fuck it. You know, I, I'm sure the next cartoon makes a lot more sense. What? Okay. Okay. So there's a circle full of eyeballs, and and a guy dressed as a sheep. Um, angel face monster flying over some some fucking firemen and. What, what does this prove? What is... I don't understand. Oh, and now... Now we get to the fucking centerpiece. Um, bam. A collage of Hitler pictures. Just... And, and you know what the title of this cartoon is? Do you know what the title is? Uh, never Told. Just Never Told. I mean, this is the side of Hitler that the history books would not let you see. The fact that uh, he, he'd smile sometimes, okay? Sometimes he'd smile. I mean, I don't have any, any criticism of Adolf Hitler, of course, why would I? Uh, shit, how, fuck, get, how did that picture get in there? Fuck, 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 okay, le let's forget about that. Okay, let's forget about that. Just Putin, okay? Remember I said Putin, giant Putin, remember that? Uh, here's giant Gaddafi. I mean, he, he really likes drawing people as giants, I guess. But that, that leads me to the next point, um, you know, you, you must be thinking at this point, if, uh, if he thinks everything is a conspiracy, um, who, who does he like? I mean, there, there must be someone he likes, there must be someone he, uh, thinks is a good politician, an honest man, a, a paragon of morality, a savior of this, it's Ron Paul, okay, he likes Ron Paul, but I can't, I can't keep the charade going, he loves Ron Paul, look, look, look at this picture of Ron Paul, look how much... Look, it's giant Ron Paul uh, investigating the Fed, and uh, you might be thinking, just got the perspective wrong, the perspective wrong. But um, nope, here he is again. Ron Paul is a gargantuan titan. He's a fucking. So, so you must be thinking at this point, you know, he's just trying to uh, show how Ron Paul is head and shoulders above all the other candidates. How he's better? No, 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 no. Ron Paul is a literal giant, okay? Ron Paul is gigantic. I mean, he has to be. He has to be if he wants to fight the uh, giant Jew heads floating over the Federal Reserve. I mean, he, if he wants to beat the giant monster Jew heads that protect the Federal Reserve, he's gonna need to be a giant, okay? But, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at these pictures and I'm saying, thinking, you know, 
he, he makes him look so sad. Okay, he makes him look so solemn. I mean, look, look how angry he is while he's uh, using his superpowers to save uh, Uncle Sam. Look how how disgruntled he is. I wish I could see happy pictures of Ron Pyle. I wish I'd seen him smile, like 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 that time he won the annual go kart race at the White House. Remember that? Remember when he won that go kart race? You remember that? He looked so happy. Look look how look at the smile on his face, or or. As happy as he was when he transformed into a giant robot train and killed everyone in Iowa. See, see that smile on his face. Look, look at him laugh as he murders everyone in Iowa. Just, I mean, he's nothing, nothing like uh, Donald Trump when he turned into a giant train and killed everyone in Iowa. I mean, look, look at the difference. See, smiling, happy murder, angry, sad, scary murder. Just it's completely different, but you know this picture is uh, is is missing something. You know, there's just something just not not quite right. Let me let me. I mean, I don't have Photoshop right now, but I think I can. I think I can swing it. I think I can use MS Paint and just just let me just. Okay, and we take his head, and there we go. This is the train Ron Paul's face should be on. Okay, the Holocaust. Taking Jews to the Def Camp train. I think this train would be one that David D would uh, would appreciate a lot more. He'd be a lot happier with this one. But you know, we got to talking about Donald Trump. We, we mentioned him earlier. Let's. Uh, I mean, what does he think of Trump? I mean, he he seems to like him from uh, from this picture. I mean, he's uh, destroying the Jews and Zionists. But at some point, his opinion of Trump seems to have changed. I mean, look at this picture, you see, Donald Trump the Jew destroying uh, Hillary Clinton, Jeb Bush, Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, and Bernie Sanders, the Jews, while the other Jews look on. I, I, don't, I don't really understand the Jewish conspiracy here. If, if Donald Trump is a Jew controlled by the Jewish uh, conspiracy, why is he destroying the other Jews? Why would the, the elders of Zion um, use one Jewish candidate to fight the other, they should have one Jewish, this is completely redundant, stupid Zionists, you, you get one, one candidate, one, and then you rig the elections, don't need 10 Jewish candidates fighting each other and you supporting one of them, you're, you, you're doing this completely wrong, okay, so, so D doesn't like Donald Trump, but he does, he does like his uh, famous tie that just says, jobs, 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 everyone loves that tie. That's, uh, I mean, and you know, Donald Trump, I think, is the only real point of contention between he, him and his fans, okay? And, you know, at this point, I got I got curious. I couldn't find the real hidden truth behind these cartoons, so I decided to go look at the fans. I mean, you know, l let's, let's check out the fans. Let's see what they have to say about this. Let's see what they have to say about Trump. Okay, so this is the first fan, and let's see what he has to say. Uh, David Dees is clearly a prophet of our time. I do not believe in all his ideas, but I know many are true. Someone has to stand up and shout these truths before the liberal elite ban freedom of speech for being politically incorrect. So, the supporters of David D think he is a liberal prophet, but what does this guy who supports Trump has to say in all caps? Let's, let me use my uh, all caps voice. Um, <clears throat> D is correct about everything but Trump being controlled by the Zionist cockroaches. Trump is a patriot who will persecute those who commit treason. Example, Obama, Bill and Hitler, Bush, Cheney, Rumsfeld, Holder, and many more who committed false flags and most in Congress who allowed them to get away when evidence was overwhelming. They all must hang. Okay. So, so, uh, Bill and Hitlery must hang. So, okay, so there's some, some disagreement amongst the fans. L let's look at some more of them, okay? You know, I know that there's, a, there's a message board somewhere. Some, one of them mentioned that there's a David D message board, but I'm just scared to look at it. I mean, this video is long enough as it is. I'm terrified of knowing what his fans have to say after reading some of these comments. Let's look at another one, okay? So this one is from June 12, 2016. Probably made... Oh, okay, so this one is when someone uh, asked 
why David D doesn't portray Muhammad. And this guy goes on to explain that David D does not want to get killed by ISIS, that he's already proven himself. But then David D himself chimes in and explains how ISIS and all terrorist attacks are false flag hoaxes controlled by the Zionists. Okay, so I mean it's good he's engaging with the community, okay? Let's look at another fan. Okay, this one is a real master of English. Uh, let's let's just read it verbatim, okay? Check in the mail, next payday, squiggly line, squiggly line, arrow, weak squiggly line, squiggly line. Appreciate, admire, love, to name a few wonderful attributes. Much if not all work, squiggly line, squiggly line, agenda 21, squiggly line, squiggly line, anti-government, anti-geoengineering, politics, both anti-Trump and Clinton creations as well, squiggly line, squiggly line. If you happen to have posters for distribution, slash sale, PLS, reply W, price, slash size, squiggly line, squiggly line, even a few, I don't want to read any more of this, okay, I'm done. This person is having an aneurysm. Let's look at another person. Y you know, y it's not all fans, okay? Sometimes haters and trolls show up. And where would you think people who hate David D would come from? Sweden. Of course Sweden. I mean, who else? Let's read a comment by this Swedish uh, reader. <clears throat> Only John, Alan... Martison speaks the truth, period. Jew David is a scam. And now the comment. White male American scumbag, stay the fuck away from Sweden, exclamation exclamation. You push hate against immigrants coming to Sweden when you yourself are one, exclamation mark. We fucking hate you Americans here in Sweden, exclamation mark. Sweden don't need more disgusting white male scumbags like you using Seeing divide and conquer Freemason Jew tactics to divide Sweden and get the colored people and white people against each other. Sweden, yes. Sweden, yes. And finally, my favorite comment here, and it goes um, besides the French part, can tell you the reality. I also hope that Trump will be elected if can tell you the reality. I hope that Trunk Oswi will be elected if. The best part about this comment is that it actually makes more sense than any other comment in that comment section. This person is the closest to saying something legible compared to everyone else. Okay? Okay, so at this point, you know, I'm thinking to myself, uh, what the hell is going on? What, what are these cartoons? And I noticed that some of them have text. So I, I tell myself, you know, um, maybe these ones will enlighten me. Maybe these ones will hold the answer, the key. So I look up one of the ones who has, that has the least text, and I try to read what it says. So let's let's look at this. Um, who did 9/11? Zionist. Ju okay, no, no. Let, let's stop. Doris, the lunch lady, did 9/11. Okay, who did 9/11? It's it's this lady. This uh, this cafeteria lady is responsible. We found the real culprit. Fat cafeteria lady from the 50s is is the one who crashed the plane into the twin towers. It was her. We we found you and we're hunting you down. Okay. So I found no answers here. So I decided to maybe read something longer, something with more text that will maybe this will hold the answer. So I, I see this one. It's it's pink. It's cute. Uh, let's see what it says. Um, you only look, need to look at a couple of Lady Gaga pictures or videos to notice that she constantly hides one of her eyes. Most people will simply interpret this as a cool thing to do or a fashion statement. Those people who have passed the 101 of Illuminati symbolism know that the all-seeing eye is probably the most recognizable symbol. The gesture of hiding one eye usually the left one, goes way back in occult orders. Lady Gaga is is the Illuminati. God, I, I hope it doesn't find out about Jay-Z. My god. Okay, so I, I've discovered nothing. I've learned nothing. I'm still not satisfied. So at this point, I just start reading random things on the site. I start wondering, maybe I can find the answer here. So I, I, I just, I go to the front page and I read about his book. Yes, he has a second book coming out. And this is this is the promotional sort of uh, graphic here. 
and, and l let's read some of this together. Um, book two is illustrated and ready to go. I have put forth a special collector's limited edition to help pay for the cost of high quality printing. I I'm glad he has a, he has standards. In the special package, you will get five books. The collector's limited edition book, $100 by itself. Apparently he thinks his book is worth $100. Signed and fingerprinted, plus four more books you can give to friends and family also signed. So if, if you gift this thing to your friends and family, God have mercy on your soul and I promise you you will remain friendless, okay? But what I really love about this guy is that he's so paranoid and yet he, he has no qualms about handing out his fingerprints and signature to people and if you scroll all the way down I, I didn't put it in the video but I think that's his uh, his actual address so I mean you know the government is spying on you but uh, giving your finger fingerprints to random people on the internet for a hundred bucks that's fine you can just let's keep reading okay here's what you get the book 115 laminated full color full page illustrations that really have you really have to be seen to believe it's a wild ride. Yes, I completely agree. I'm, I'm getting a brain tumor just looking at this. It has been a wild ride. Okay, each limited edition will have the all-seeing art 555 seal. That is the last thing I want. I want... No, 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 no. I don't want... I. God, that's terrifying. If you have the uh, 555 all-seeing art seal, uh, then uh, David D will... Uh, will sneak into your house at night and uh, and molest you, okay? that That's what that means, okay? You do not want the, the, the all-seeing art, okay? The book will be signed by the artist. That would be me. Great. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Fing five fingerprints in blue ink. Could there be a better way to prove it's the real thing? Why would I want to do that? I I'm done reading. Uh, let's just scroll all the way down to the bottom. Um... US dollar, USA, $125. He thinks this is worth $125. Canada, $125 plus $45 USD shipping. And overseas, $70 USD shipping. So it's nearly $200 for his shit book. His five, five collections of of just misused photoshop for two hundred dollars i mean great deal great value great savings billy mays would be proud i'm not done okay so i finally find something that i mean it doesn't explain you anything but at least at least it gives you a sort of uh, comprehensive look at all of his fucking uh all his fucking cartoons and what he stands for so this is the graphic for his first book and let's just read it together <clears throat> seven years in the making this stunning collection of 114 unforgettable conversation gathering these art creation is easily one of the most important books of the year, according to whom the you okay fuck it. the humor, horror, and awareness that this book that this book's unique art brings to the subject, like Federal Reserve, Bohemian Grove, chemtrails, GMOs, vaccines. Police state, uh, controlled media, aspartame, MSG, secret societies, and the Zionist banking criminals must be experienced. You've seen David D's wizardry all over the internet and posted on all the top alternate news sites, and now you can own your own exclusive coffee table book of D's masterpiece that will help you wake up your friends and family to what is really happening all around them. The topics the control media definitely does not want you to know. Well, ship in time for Christmas! My god, that is like the worst Christmas gift ever. Okay, so we, we've gone through all of this. I, I've shown you everything I thought worthy of seeing. And you know, I, I don't even know how to finish this video because... Let me tell you something. I was, I was planning to end this with with a joke i was gonna make some kind of gag about uh how everyone knows that david d is wrong and the world isn't controlled by zionist jew freemasons and that it's really controlled by uh by greedy bankers hatred and racism and then the punchline would be the reptilians 
But then I found this cartoon David G. drew of the president of Ecuador. If you enjoyed this video, why? Don't like, comment, or subscribe. Get the fuck out of here.